reviewing oohs and ahs in Washington, D.C. Ooh. Ah. I've gotten so many requests to try this restaurant, and I'm really hoping, really hoping, this is hitting on something. Let's try the grill whiting first. Mm. So if we're talking about texture-wise, it's like that. It's white, juicy, meaty, and it is indeed blackened. But I got a problem with this. I would love to know the type of seasoning you coated this this here whiting with before you before you blackened it because this it's not giving it's not giving off good vibes right now. There's not a particular flavor that's 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 really jumping out and putting me in the chokehold right now. I'm almost for sure you season the front side and not the bike. I ain't really I ain't really feeling that. Greens. Okay. I don't think they cook these greens in any type of broth, but that's no problem because they have the perfect pinch of acidity to them. The only thing this is missing is some red pepper flakes. Cabbage, they suck. Salt, pepper, vinegar, and broth would have set this off. This is the fried catfish. Mm. The catfish has a has a beautiful, I mean a beautiful crunch to it, baby. It's not too oily, it's meaty, it's fresh, it's whitey, whitey. That word, whitey. There's really everything you can ask for in the fish. When it comes to the seasoning, it seems like they use pepper, they were light on the salt, and the taste kind of gives you a mild Creole vibe. Whatever they did with this, for one, it's good. Two, they gave me some sauce. Uh, oh. Okay. This must be their, their homemade tartar sauce. It's mayo based with relish. This is some damn good sauce. And it's nice and sweet too. I would fly back to, to North Carolina to smack my mama with this. This is good. Next, we got the chicken and waffles. Starting with the chicken first. Mm -hmm. So this tastes similar to the seasoning that's on the catfish, but this seems to have a little bit, a little bit more salt added to it. I also see what seems to be red bell pepper flakes. The skin is a little soggy, but that's probably because it's in a takeout to go container. I ain't really tripping about that. But I gotta say, when it comes to the to the structure of this and how this was prepared. It was good now. Waffles, I need for you to find a different recipe immediately. The waffles blend as I'm not sure if you guys use nutmeg, cinnamon, or what, but I can tell you one thing, either you A, didn't add any salt to the batter, or two, you didn't add no sugar to the batter. I mean, this is, this is hot, hot garbage. Even though it is garbage, I am gonna be fat. Chicken, waffle, whoop, ooh. Chicken, it's good. The waffle, mm -mm. it's the mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, it's okay. It has a a very adequate amount of amount of cheese going on up in this mug. I mean, you get a great amount of cheese and and pasta in every bite. I do wish I had a little bit more pepper, but it's still good. And if you're in Washington D.C., check this place out.